Manchester United goalkeeper as the wind picks up around the Lee Sports Village. And Gerpoz makes no mistake. Very confident penalty, and Dortmund are on the board in the shootout. Real tension out there. Young players knowing that progress in Europe is so important to them. Nothing the coaches can do now. And Mark Yorado, who came from Barcelona, will take the first penalty for United. The most recent penalty shootout in England at Wembley on Sunday in the EFL Cup final saw so 21 successful penalties between Liverpool and Chelsea before the Chelsea goalkeeper Kepa finally missed one. Second penalty here for Dortmund. Oh, they could have had it. Oh, he slips, but he gets the job done. Now, was there a double touch there? There was. It won't count. Kulabali slipped in front of the spot. He touched the ball twice. And that won't count. You can see here, left foot onto right foot. And although the ball went into the back of the net, Pitek just checking, and Kunabale's penalty will not count. Now McNeil will take the second penalty for United to give them the lead in the shootout. And McNeil, oh, he's at the post. And the advantage spurned by Manchester United. Charlie McNeil scored a fine goal in the 90 minutes, but Strinsky had gone the wrong way, but he clattered it against the upright. One one after two penalties each. McNeil disappointed for now. Alzane, it's safe. He never really got hold of it, Alzane going the right way and a relatively comfortable save in the end and United once again have the opportunity to take the lead here and it's the captain Animal Mabry the Tunisian international He scores, there is real pressure on Dortmund. And it's saved again. Ostrinsky well, this time. And once again, the penalty was fairly central. Six penalties, only two finding the back of the net so far. And Dortmund. Through Tom Rutter. will try and take the lead in the shootout once again. Rutter calmly done, gave the goalkeeper the eyes. 
And the fourth penalty for Dortmund does go in. And United now are under pressure. Neil Wood has seen his side have opportunities to take control of the shootout, but now they are playing catch up once again. Norm Emerald, who came on late in the game, really needs to score. And he doesn't. Another save for Ostrinsky. And Dortmund are one penalty away. If they score, they are through. And some real disappointment among the United players at the moment, but Mike Tolberg knows his side are on the verge here. And Jamie Bino Gittins, who scored twice in the game, can send Dortmund into the quarterfinals here. The young Englishman and some of his teammates can't look. By no Gittins for a place in the quarterfinals, and he's done it. And Jamie By no Gittins has returned to Manchester, and Borussia Dortmund are into their first quarterfinal in the UEFA Youth League. Manchester United crash out on penalties. And it's the Germans who can celebrate. Bino Gittins with two superb goals in the 90 minutes. And he kept his call from the penalty spot. And Borussia Dortmund are into the quarterfinals for the first time, beating Manchester United. 3-1 on penalties.